Hello and welcome to the latest Crafty Snipers Airsoft video. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be talking about teams in Airsoft. Do they actually work? Are you better being in a team or are you actually going to be better playing the lone wolf uber killing machine uh, working on your own? Um, so yeah, I hope I'm going to answer that question today. Um, I'm going to start this off. Uh, I've been airsofting for about ooh, six years now. And I've done all the major things in Airsoft. I've been part of numerous teams. I've been part of small teams. I've been part of huge teams. Um, all of them have gone pretty much the way of the dodo. But whilst I was in those teams, things happened. Uh, there were great times. And I'm gonna, I could just talk about the teams I was in. But I'm going to actually skip ahead. There were two teams. I started off a team um, when I was really, really new in Airsoft. It was me and two other lads. We were good friends. We got together. thought it was a great idea. We got patches. We were cool. We were happy. You know, we were enjoying the sport. However, that, that team went the way of the dodo and finished off. Um, and I ended up with um, being back on my Jack Jones again. Um, I joined a, another team that was a huge team, the exact opposite, polar opposite of the team I'd just come from. And this one was where there was 20 or 30 actual individuals part of this team. They had a website. Uh, I was part of a squad. There were actually internal squads inside this team. Uh, all on paper sounded fantastic. Again, great bunch of lads that were part of this team. However, downside was when it came to the actual events... Not many people turned up. So what was, on paper, a huge team, an army with squads and snipers and machine gunners and assault rifles and SMG users, just kind of really fizzled out. And that one didn't quite work. So what I'm going to discuss, really, was the first major team that I felt part of. Um, I'm not going to name it, because that's not really fair. But there was five members. We were all... Good friends. We'd all been at uh, Lincolnshire Airsoft Club for at least two years. I think I was there for two years before I joined this team. Uh, there were certain other members of the team that were that had been in LAC a lot longer. Um, but we all had the same objective. Have fun. Um, we had a leader. And he stipulated that there were certain uniform requirements. I think we started off with having DPM, I think, was for the home games. And in the away games, we had multicam. I still don't have any multicam. Never had any multicam and never want to touch the stuff. I think that idea was kind of dropped. Um, but we was uh, a load of five, five people with assault rifles having fun. And we had our own patches. I had my name done on thing, in, in a patch. And it was fun. It was absolutely amazing. I was having a great time. Uh, these guys I was with were really, really, really good friends. I'm still great friends with with most of them. Uh, one of them's left the sport. Uh, the other four are... Well, the three, I should say, because I'm one of them. Uh, the other three are still in the sport. And, like I say, we're still great friends. However, this team kind of imploded. Now, I won't go into the reasons why it imploded, because uh, that's nothing to do with this video. But... There were times before the implosion that this team kicked ass. Um, I can remember still to this day uh, an engagement. There was me and the captain of our team. And we were behind one of the structures. We crouched down. We got BBs whizzing over our heads. Uh, we're going to lose this objective. We had to hold it, but we're going to lose it. We've got enemy attacking um, from our forward positions. And we're going to get surrounded. Two choices. One, bug out. Two, fight. We chose the latter of the two. We looked at each other, we grabbed our weapons, made sure the magazines were all loaded, lock and load, let's go at them. And we used military tactics. One would go forward while the other one was firing overhead. And we and then we'd swap over, and the one that was in the rear would push forward, and he would be attacking while the other person was putting supportive fire. And we ended up, I think we ended up with about 12 kills, if I remember correctly absolutely mullered the flanks of one of these um, groups of enemy combatants and we just hit them killed them, broke them um, and we just basically wiped them all out and it was fantastic I look back at my um, team captain and we just like, yes that was amazing that was fantastic, that's what teamwork is all about, two players two assault rifles, went up against 12, 13, 14 players and we took out 11 or 12 of them the rest of them ran away 
um, and it was just absolutely fantastic. Some of the best moments of my airsoft life uh, were happening just at that moment, and it was fantastic. That being said, that being said, that's the highs. The lows were a little bit different. The lows, well, the team capitulated, <laughs> it absolutely imploded um, over an issue. Uh, like I said, I won't go into that issue. It's not fair for the rest of the team members that will probably be watching this video. Um, but needless to say, the team went the way of the dodo, and I'm back on me Jack Jones again. Now, I've had good times working on my own. When I work on my own, I've got nobody else to rely on. I don't have to worry about where anyone else is. All I need to know is where the enemy is. I need to know what ammunition, what weapon, uh, what objective. And I know all that because that's what I need to know. I can remember going to the old Curtain site of a Lincolnshire Airsoft Club. It was a massive 200 acre woodland site. Fantastic site. And I had a sniper rifle. That's all I had. A sniper rifle and a pistol, I think. And I went up against an entire team, an objective. And uh, my objective was to get to them where I could shoot them and start whittling them down. And on my own, against, I don't know, seven or eight people, um, I started putting fire down on this objective, which was a road, um, and there was a, a, a flag on this road. I couldn't take the flag. There was no one in this planet I was ever going to be able to take the flag. But if I started to fire accurate rounds on the objective, on the people that were standing there, silhouetted, because I was in a field. I was in a field with uh, dead grass and tall grass and bushes and all that stuff. I was well camouflaged. Um, but the people that were standing on the road were silhouetted for me. It was like turkey shooting. Like the, little, uh, the fair when you're shooting the ducks. Um, that's what it was to me. And I went through them and I started really, really killing them off and annoying them. Uh, annoying them to the point where they decided enough was enough. They thought that there was actually a larger force in this field shooting at them. They didn't realise it was one sniper. So they decided to come into the field with me and try and hunt down what was in the field. Uh, I think at this point, there must have been seven or eight of them actually came into the field, and they they used common sense. They came along in a line and tried to flush out what was in there. What they didn't realise was I'd already pulled back. I'd already worked out my bug out route, um, pulled back from the from the primary firing position, went to my secondary firing position, and started shooting up the um, the enemy line that was approaching me. I think I shot the furthest left and the furthest right. It confused the heck out of this line because it couldn't work out where this fire was coming from. I remember, I'm not firing an AEG. I'm not firing bursts of ammunition so that people can work out my position. I'm firing as a sniper. And I had an absolute blast taking out these people. And in fact, eventually, I shot so many of them, they pulled back, allowing me to pull out completely. And um, I went off back to uh, another point on the field. I saw one of the marshals, and the marshals had figured out that there was a big firefight going on. They thought that there was loads of players in this field. And I just came out of this field with a big grin on my face. Not many rounds left in the sniper rifle, because I'd gone through quite a lot of them. And um, yeah, that was be fantastic. Again, one of the highlights of my airsoft career. And I'd, all, and I'd done that even on my own. If we jump straight up to... Brand spanking now, right up to date, bang up to date. I am part of a team. We're called Team Zoidwolf. You may remember the word Zoidwolf. They are at the start of this video, and they are supporters of the Crafty Sniper channel. Um, Zoidwolf is also the name of the photographer who does some absolutely amazing photos. Uh, you've seen on the LAC pages, you've seen on the Zoidwolf Facebook page. Um, I've, I think I've even focused on a few of the photos myself on the Crafty Sniper side. In fact, some of the photos that are taken of me are from Zoidwolf. So, um, yeah, you all, you all know him. Um, we're part of a team. Things are different on this one. Um, again, there is five or six of us. But we're not one of those teams that has to have all matching camouflages or has to have all matching ammunition, uh, man matching weapons even. Uh, we use what we like. We use what we enjoy. We've got a guy with a gas AK. We've got numerous members with Tokyo Marui recoil rifles because, let's face it, it's TM. They're amazing. I play with my SRS sniper rifle. Um, one of our latest members has actually just picked up another sniper rifle that's upgraded, so I'm looking forward to working with him, uh, which is going to be fantastic. But we work 
as a collective when we need to. There are times when we're not necessarily going to work as a collective. In fact, I enjoy hunting them down as a sniper. It's fun. It's testing for me because I know these players and they know me. They know my tactics. I know their tactics. It's kind of a bit more difficult. It's not like going up against someone who doesn't know you and doesn't know the site where you are. Zoidwolf members know each other pretty much very well. So we've had a few engagements as Zoidwolf and we've kicked ass on numerous occasions. We've got our asses handed to us on other occasions. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. But the question is, at the start of this video is, was or is teams viable in Airsoft? Do they actually make sense? All the faff and palaver that goes on behind the scenes, all the uniform requirements, all the websites that go up regarding a team, it's a lot and lot of work. And I've seen three or four teams that I've been part of. Most of them, bar Zoidwolf, have gone the way of the dodo. I've seen other teams, other people get together and the team was flopped within about, you know, first three or four events. And it's a bit of a shame, really. Um, but they've had some good times and they've had some bad times and the end result was the team collapsed. I think, personally, it's very interesting from where I look at. If I was to look at a, a group of guys that are dressed up as SAS members and they've got the proper kit, the prop, not the proper weapons, literally, but um, they are literally a one-to-one -one replica of an SAS member. That's impressive to look at, but it doesn't make the team play any better. Zoidwolf, going back to them, we don't have any of these requirements. We just go out there and have fun. We may not be playing together. We may be playing together. It's just the way that we decide to go on that particular event. Um, so me personally... I'm 50-50 on this. I'm, I'm trying to wrap my brain cell over this. I'm trying to work out, do, Snyder, do Airsoft teams actually work? Or are you better suited just rocking up? Yes, you've been friends with a few other players that are there, or a lot of other players at the club. But you actually go out there with your own rifle and just have fun. Kick ass or get your ass kicked. It's pretty much, that's the one or two ways it's going to happen. So I'm interested to see what you guys, or what hear what you guys have to say about this. Have you been a member of an Airsoft team? Has it gone the way of the dodo, like most of my teams? Has your team actually worked really, really well? Have you had those great, amazing events? Those great, amazing matches where you've, you've had a firefight, kicked ass, and you stood back and you've gone, you know something, lads, that was amazing. I want to hear about it, because I think this is a subject that needs to be brought up in Airsoft, because all of us are Airsofters, and all of you have got an opinion on teams in Airsoft, I know you have, so please, feel free, drop your comments on the YouTube page for this um, for this video, where this video will end up, I'm going to put this video up on the LAC pages and the usual club pages around Lincolnshire. And I'd love to hear what your opinions are on teams in Airsoft. So the questions are quite difficult, uh, quite different. Um, are Airsoft teams a viable um, choice in Airsoft? Are you better being a lone wolf player or are you better at being a team member? Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear your opinions on that. Um, I'd like to see if you've actually enjoyed this video. Uh, this is my second video using my audio improved um, microphone that's in front of me at the moment. I'd like to say this is a longer video than the last one I did, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you stayed all the way to the end of this, and I'll hope to see you on an airsoft field very, very soon.